Hi guys, I hope you're all well and having a really, really lovely day and thank you for joining me for today's video which is going to be my February monthly favourites. It actually feels like forever ago that I filmed my January favourites and I think that's probably because this month was really hectic, it was obviously fashion week um, and just seems to be that every single week was like crazy full of meetings and events and all that kind of fun stuff. So it does feel like forever ago that I sat down and filmed my February, January favourites. Today I am going through a few of my favourite products of February 2016 um, as well as a few favourite brands, favourite experiences and also my new category for 2016 which is my favourite blogger mail item of 2016. If you guys didn't see it already, last Sunday I published my opening of some blogger mail video which hopefully you will um, have enjoyed watching. I definitely love watching those kind of videos I'm such a nosy parker um, so I thought I would film one and show you guys what I got in a few days worth or weeks worth or so of blogger mail. Anyway, I digress, let's go on with my favourite things of February. So firstly, a relatively new addition to my makeup collection and this is the Lock uh, Skinny Dip Vibrant Matte Lipstick. So Skinny Dip has nothing to do with the case brand that you see the iPhone um, cases and everything. It's just called that because this is a skinny dip product. And Lock or Love of Colour is the makeup brand by Birchbox. And this product in particular, the Vibrant Matte Lipstick, um, I don't think it actually has a shade, it's just this kind of pinky coral colour. I'm actually wearing it right now, so if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's this. And this is a mini crayon, um, and it's a gorgeous pink, but I'd say brownie pink, but more on the pinky side. So I definitely have been loving these brownie pinks recently, my Amaretto Bite Lip Crown I've been just wearing to death, and this is a more spring girly pink. I love the texture of this, it's very matte on the lips without being drying. I love that it's so tiny, it's just been in my handbag with me everywhere, and I just think the colour is absolutely gorgeous, so I hope you guys like this colour on me because I love it. These I believe are £8 um, and they also have eyeshadow sticks. I do think they are maybe slightly pricey considering how teeny tiny they are but it's very long lasting so I consider that this uh, little tube of lipstick goodness will hopefully last me quite a long time. Another beauty favourite is one which I've been dying to tell you about for so long but it's only just been kind of announced and it's the Rimmel London Volume Colourist Mascara. So this mascara is such a genius invention. Basically, um, you guys will know this if you watched last week's video, but it basically slowly tints your lashes. So if you are like me and you have really light lashes and you like to get them tinted before you go on holiday just to mean um, that you don't need to wear mascara in the pool, then you will absolutely love this because over the space of, I'd say I've been using this for about four weeks now, it has slowly but surely tinted my blonde lashes so that they are very very dark, not quite black yet, but I would no longer have those pale wispy ends to my lashes which makes my naked lashes look a lot bolder. So this is I believe coming out um, early March, so not too long to wait and I think it's like 7 8 pounds but the fact that it colours your lashes and is an amazing mascara, I just think is so, so amazing. So I've been loving using that this month. And then keeping on the theme of eyes, I have this incredibly beautiful palette from Tarte via QVC, and it's their Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. Now you guys um, might remember that I fell in love like at the end of last year with my Stila eyeshadow palette, and this is actually pretty similar shades, but the packaging, I mean, oh, it's just absolutely stunning, but these are all the kind of shades that I wear on a really regular basis. They've got really lovely kind of tropical names as well, like Starfish, Reef, Cove, Sand, Mermaid, and they are just the most beautifully wearable shades. They all have a light shimmer to them, uh, which I really, really like, and I just, words can't describe my love for these colours. Every single colour in here I've been wearing, like, on a daily basis, I just... Oh, they're just so stunning. I, I don't have enough words to tell you how beautiful these eyeshadows are. Texture-wise, they're really gorgeous. I mean, Tarte, you guys know, is an incredible brand. They are very heavily pigmented, so you don't need that much. It barely looks like I've touched this. And then there's a huge big mirror on the lid as well. So really great for doing your makeup out and about. And, I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. So as I mentioned, it was fashion week this month, um, last week or week or so ago, and to get my makeup staying all throughout the day without budging, I relied solely on the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Now this, when I first tried it, made my face go all white and splottery, but you definitely have to shake this quite 
heftily before you put it on your face because you can see the kind of chalky um, powder sinking to the bottom if you don't. But if you miss, uh, if you mix this up really well, and sometimes um, I find it sprays quite big droplets. So what I like to do is I like to mist the air and then very quickly walk into that cloud of um, fixing spray mist and that just worked an absolute treat during fashion week at keeping my makeup stuck um, in place throughout the day. I did still tend to get shiny, um, that's just what happens to my skin. I did take a powder with me but you know fashion week you don't really have much time to stop and fix up your makeup so this just meant that I didn't need to touch up my makeup too much other than the powder and kept everything looking fresh throughout the day so this was really really great for fashion week and I'll be continuing to use this on days when I won't be having too much free time like if I've got a day of meetings and things like that or any events and it's a budget but budget street budget product it's a high street um, product obviously Urban Decay have one as well which I think is almost double the price so highly recommend this if you are in the market for a makeup setting or fixing spray and before I finish up on makeup, I wanted to give an overall shout out to my favourite brand of February 2016 and it has to be Guerlain. So I think I mentioned last month that um, I had never really tried that much Guerlain before. I tried a bronzer, I think it was probably one of my first like designer makeup purchases, but that was really the only thing I tried and even that was like long gone um, when I started blogging. But this month I just really fell in love with so many of their products. This here is their Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzer. So you can see it's got, oh if I can get into it, you can see it's got four shades in the disc, uh, lighter shades going around to a darker shade. So you can really kind of use a smaller brush on the darker shade to get a bit of contour or swipe your brush all the way around for a lovely, very, very natural looking bronzer. And then there's their Meteorites um, Primer, which I featured in my Luxury New In video. I think I uh, raved about it then, just it's beauty with a little pearl drops in there. I actually have a makeup routine video coming up very soon including this and you'll see what a lovely glow it adds to the skin. I've got it on today, um, just basically been using this every single day. And as a whole, just the brand is just absolutely beautiful. But then there's another product here, which is their eyeshadow in a gorgeous nude colour. Um, this is just perfect for those days when I don't actually want, want to wear eyeshadow, um, but don't want to have naked, oops, the brush is falling out, don't want to have a naked eyelid. So this is a very close shade to my natural eyelid shade, so great for those no makeup makeup days. And then again, the Meteorites powder, which again I showed you in my Luxury New In video. Just absolutely stunning for really adding a very fresh glow to the face. Um, it's mattifying, but there are a few shiny areas on this, little sparkly sections, so you can add a little bit of, uh, a bit of a healthy glow to the skin as well. So overall, just been absolutely loving Guerlain. As I said, I'm doing a makeup look video, um, including a load of their products very soon, so keep a look out for that. It's going to be an everyday kind of glowy makeup look. A product which really took me by surprise this month, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, is the Mel Vita um, Rose, oh it's kind of all in Spanish, uh, Rose Face Care Oil. So this I've been using um, before my moisturiser in the mornings, just adding a couple of drops of this. And when it said oil, I was kind of expecting that kind of oil which just sits on the skin for quite a long time, so I wasn't expecting to be as blown away by this as I was. Basically it's a really, really light oil, so it sinks into the skin within a matter of moments. It smells heavenly, and I just feel like it's a really lovely pampering treat for the skin before you apply your makeup in the mornings. Um, it's a brand that I've never really incorporated that much into my daily routine before, but after falling so much in love with this, I think I'll be putting a lot more or trying a lot more of their products and um, seeing if I can fit any more into my daily routine. And last but not least on the beauty side of things is the new Viva La Juicy, yeah just checking I was right, uh, Rosé perfume and this very nearly got my favourite blogger mail um, of the month award. Um, favourite position because it came with an absolutely amazing bottle of pink sparkly rosé which I just absolutely love. I still have the bottle even though the rosé is long gone but the perfume itself is absolutely heavenly so I love anything floral and rosy. I absolutely loved the original Viva La Juicy perfume in the gold bottle that very swiftly became my everyday perfume. So long lasting, such a strong scent, a couple of mists and all day people would be asking me what perfume I was wearing and they wouldn't believe me when I said it was Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy but this is even better. It's just gorgeous packaging. I love the pink and sparkly, of course I do um, and it's just more of a floral twist but still very warm and surprisingly mature um, for a bottle that's pink and sparkly with a bow on it but I just 
think that this is going to become my new everyday perfume and I've been loving it throughout the month of February. It's even got a little rosé bottle with diamonds inside it on the lid so this is absolutely gorgeous both outside and in. And a couple of accessory favourites. So firstly my key um, sunglasses, these rose gold kind of laser patterned um, sunglasses, not really too sure how to best describe these, but if you watched or saw my London Fashion Week diary post on the blog, I did an outfit of the day post for every single day that I was at Fashion Week, I think I pretty much wore these every day. You guys know I absolutely love rose gold and I really love cat eye sunglasses, I think the shape um, of cat eye sunglasses is the shape that suits me the best, I look a bit stupid wearing them indoors, um, and these were I think like £25, got these from Topshop but I don't think they're available from Topshop anymore so I'll see if I can find um, a link for these somewhere online and leave that below because I definitely think I'll be wearing these a lot more as it hopefully starts to get a bit sunnier. And my final product favourite, also an accessory, is this beautiful ring. Now this is from a brand called Carrot London um, and it's a rose gold ring with very intricate kind of almost floral, Indian-y floral design um, covered in tiny little gems and then three bigger gems in the middle. I just think it's such an elegant design, a really big ring but because it's flat against my hand I really don't feel that I'm wearing it so I instantly feel more dressed up and glamorous when I have this on my hand. Again wore this all throughout fashion week so you might have seen in my, it's really hard to show you, I'm like finding a flattering hand angle, so you might have seen this again in my London Fashion Week outfit posts, so absolutely adore this. I have matching earrings and a matching necklace and a matching bracelet to this as well. I got a little bit carried away on the Carrot London um, rose gold front. But yeah, so they are my favourite products of February 2016. And as I did last month, my favourite blogger mail item of February 2016. There's really no two ways about it. I got so excited when I saw an Anya Hinmarsh, or Hinmarsh, depending on how you say it, I say Hinmarsh, um, carrier bag arrive at my peer box and I was like, no, surely not, surely not. Um, but I was invited to a few London Fashion Week shows backstage and to the shows by L'Oreal, including Anya Hinmarsh, and L'Oreal um, very kindly sent me this absolutely beautiful Anya Hinmarsh makeup bag. So it's a transparent makeup bag which makes it so perfect for travelling. It's got these two sections in it which say touch down and take off and inside obviously I can fit all my beauty products for when I'm out and about. It's got these gorgeous little tassel zip closures and I just think this is going to be such a practical bag and I'm going to get so much use out of this. Inside there were a few L'Oreal hair products including my absolute favourite which is the Mythic Oil which is just so great if you have slightly drier ends or you need um, just a little bit of help when combing through the ends um, and also a Mythic Oil Shampoo Mini which I haven't tried yet but it's a perfect size for putting it in a travel bag as well. I'm excited to try this next time I wash my hair and there are a few other larger items in there as well but I've already put them all away in my hair cupboard so sadly can't show you but honestly this is just so 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 generous. I know that Anya Marsh is such a gorgeous brand um, and I've only ever been able to afford a notebook from there before so just so incredible to have an Anya Marsh makeup bag so thank you L'Oreal. I feel like the luckiest girl in the whole world. So pretty. I actually just found one more product which I wanted to mention in my favourites, probably not the most glamorous of products, but one which I think is going to save me a lot of time and money in the future, and it's the Ilya Dye Brow Kit. So this kit, you may have seen me testing it out on my Snapchat, I did a first impressions on Snapchat, did a whole story of me experimenting with dyeing my eyebrows at home. Basically I normally get my eyebrows done at Benefit, they tint them and then shape them for me, but last month I missed it so I couldn't go around with half eyebrows, um, so I decided to use this at home kit and it was super duper easy, I was slightly worried that I wouldn't be able to do it because I wasn't very good at like reading the instructions, um, but it was so easy and I was really really pleased with the results, in fact a few of you guys um, tweeted me afterwards saying that you went out and bought it after seeing me do it on Snapchat, so you obviously thought that um, you'd be able to do it as well. So really, really pleased with this and I think I will definitely be continuing to use this in the future. Last but not least, I know I said that on the last one but I just saw this hanging on my bed frame and I forgot to mention it, I have this gorgeous Dachshund tea towel from Anthropology. Um, again, it's something that I showed you guys on my Snapchat, I was like, should I buy it? And I was shopping with Dexter at the time and everyone was just like, yes, you need to buy that. Um, but it's, yeah, it's from Anthropology and it says, 
Darling Dachshunds on the bottom, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. It's got little Dexters all over it and some blonde sausage dogs as well. So yeah, this has pride of place in our kitchen. It's actually got a little bit of avocado on it at the moment. We've obviously been putting it to good use. But yeah, I thought I would have to mention this in my monthly favourites. It says flippy floppy ears in stitching. Um, I think it's by a brand called, yeah, Poppy Treffy. You know how they have like independent designers and everything at Anthropology. So I thought I would throw that in for good measure because it's just made my day and makes me smile every time I see it in the kitchen. And that actually is it. A little bit um, jumpy here and there, but we've got through it. Those are my favourite products of February 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed looking through those with me. Definitely leave me a little note in the comment what your favourite products were for this month, because I love to know what you guys have been loving as well. If any of these products um, are ones that you want to try, or let me know if you want to see any of these products in makeup routines or fashion videos or anything like that. Just um, leave a comment and we can have a little chat. And yeah, that's everything from me. I hope you guys had a really super day and I'll catch you very soon. Bye.